Hey, praise them. What's going on, everybody? Hey, just a little quick in and out, man. Um, I was raised Catholic, right? They taught us things to go against God. And then we wonder why we're unhappy in our lives when we're donating money, right? Um, and praying, going to church, whatever, and we're still unhappy. Because the priests tell you, sin all week long, and then come see me one day out of the week, and we'll cover your sins. Like, the sinner can forgive the sinner. No, Jesus died on the cross for us, guys, so we can have a direct line to Father God. There's only um, one mediator between God and man. That's 1 Timothy 2.5. That is the man, Jesus Christ. Go read the scripture, right? Now, the Holy Spirit prompted me to do this. There's a Catholic out there that needs the truth and wants the truth. They're tired of feeling beat up and running to things that cause addiction. I'm wondering, what's wrong with me? There ain't nothing wrong with you. But you're listening to a wolf in sheep's clothing, the Pope, and all the teachings from this Catholic cult. And the cult, I, I found out, was people that take God's name to make the all oh, money dollar. Oh, money, 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 y'all. <laughs> it's, so, it's so sad, right? They're trying to collect money for lawyers, for priests who made mistakes, why don't they sell some of them gold chalices and some of the paintings in Vatican City and pay these people and um, and get these people taken care of after these horrible things happen to people, these children, and, and just whatever. So we're going to get off of that. But the, the thing is, the Holy Spirit wanted me to bring these Ten Commandments to, to, to light. Um, the, the priests always are kissing feet of uh, Jesus' crosses. They're kissing this. They're kissing that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's false idol worship is what it's called. Now, when Moses went up to the... Um, get the Ten Commandments, three days up, three days down. He spent 40 days up there, 40 nights with, with Father God up on Mount Sinai, getting the Ten Commandments. Now, the Catholics have taken God's Ten Commandments and made you go against them by worshiping, worshiping false idols. They want you to pray to Mary. They want you to pray to St. Peter for traveling mercies. They want you to pray to St. Michael for, uh, I don't know, whatever, uh, safe while you're shopping at Walmart prayer. I, I'm not sure. It's foolishness, man, that we've been tricked into because we're supposed to bow down to the priest, father. No, God, Jesus himself said, you don't call no man father. You call, we only have one father in heaven. So why do priests, you know, want to be called father? That's another story. That's another false teaching man that they're doing it's all about them but back to the ten commandments is they got their own set of ten commandments guys and, and it's crazy because all the false idol worshiping that i'm mentioning right for doing rosaries that's works faith in jesus christ gets you salvation faith in jesus christ gets you forgiveness from father because jesus died on the cross to get us forgiven when we make mistakes we say i repent I can do it here, I can do it there. I don't need to wait one day out of the week and carry all that heavy sin around and then give it off to a priest. And then you're not even forgiven because he goes, I forgive you, my son. I remember this crap. Got you kneeled down in a little room, a little dark room. When I look back at that, how creepy was that? Why ain't we sitting up in a room with lights on? Why has it got to be so weird, right? Think about it, right? I'm glad I saved my old phone, man. It don't work or nothing, but I, I take pictures and I can do videos and stuff. It's It really comes in handy. So I took a screenshot off of the Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments from God, and number two is, thou shalt, um, no false uh, idol worship. You shall not uh, worship uh, or make any graven images, you know, of angels, crosses, Jesus, anything in heaven or beneath the earth. And that's everything in between. You don't make nothing, no statues. We don't do that. We don't bow down to a statue. It's like them, you know, praying to this, a pen. And he walks up and kisses it. And they bow down to it. And everybody's hailing a, a statue. That's false idol worship, guys. Now, they took number two out to keep their little false idol worship going, right? Because it's a man. And man makes that money, man. That almighty peso, that dollar, dollar bill, y'all, right? Now, number two was taken out. Um, the original Ten Commandments as they were given to Moses. Um, now, they got, uh, number two is, you shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. So, they, they took number, um, let's see, they took uh, number three and made it number two. And it's crazy. So, you figure, okay, how do they get ten if they took one from there, right? Well, they took number ten and made it into two. You know, um, the last, um, the last, um, uh, Ten Commandments, the last commandment is, Thou shalt not covet your neighbor's wife, your manservant, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. That's one commandment. That's God's commandment that he gave to Moses. Now, the Catholics break down number 10 into two to make up for the one they took out, right? Pretty crazy stuff. It's sick, man. They perverted God's word, and he got all these poor Catholic people, my aunt included, my friend's mom, um, Miss Helen, they're all walking around depressed out of their minds and sad. Why? They're beautiful people, but they don't realize they're sinning against God every time they say a Hail Mary. Right there, Hail Mary, Hail Mary. You're hailing Mary, and God's up there 
man. He's a jealous God. He don't want you worshiping no other God when he sent his only begotten son to die for you. You're praying to Mary, someone who can't even hear you. In the Bible, it says, guys, real quick, I'll get back to the Ten Commandments. There's, um, we're all sinners. There's not one, not one means not one. <laughs> you can't, you can't dispute that. Oh, we need a priest to break it down. You don't need none of them. You got the Holy Spirit. So not one is good amongst us. It doesn't have in parentheses except Mary. They um, misrepresent the word pure translated, I think, from uh, Hebrew to Greek or Greek to English. It's pure. And that just simply means virgin. She was pure from man touching her. So God used her as a vessel to have Jesus Christ and to her story, man. Jesus didn't, wasn't up on a cross and said, hey, when I go up to heaven, man, uh, forget about all that stuff I said about sending you to the comforter, um, the Holy Spirit. Just pray to my mother down there. And he didn't even call her mother. He called her woman. He told Peter or one of the apostles, take her home and take care of her while he's up on the cross. So it's false idol worship. It's, it's a, it's a man-made prayer. Hail Mary was made by a priest back in like the, uh, 15 or 1800, some, regardless of what year I'm giving you the right the truth and reality of God, false, this false teaching of these Catholic uh, man-made religion to make that almighty dollar. They got gold chalices, this and that, but thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to stay on track. But the whole thing is they got you sinning against God un unknowingly, and you think you're doing good because we're supposed to respect priests. How do you respect the guy who takes God's word and erases stuff out of there and makes it their own? Now, and the other thing, too, Sunday is not even the Sabbath day, the Shabbat, the Jewish people call it, right? It's um, it's supposed to be on Saturday, but they changed it to, um, sun uh, to uh, Sunday because Sunday... Um, Constantine, who created the Catholic faith, religion, man-made cult, was a god, a, a sun worshiper. Do you notice all the priests walk around with these big sticks with a big thing? It looks like a sun because they worship Sunday. Get it? Sunday, sun worshiping. It's all a worship to the sun. That's why so many people at Catholic services are so like bored out of their mind and leave with nothing because the Holy Spirit is not there. False idol worship, guys. And they took the Sabbath day out of there. there, there it says, uh, keep this, remember, keep the Sabbath holy, which is Saturday. Going by the Hebrew, the Jewish um, calendar. And that's what we're supposed to go by. That's the Sabbath. These are God's chosen people. Now, the Catholics have their own Ten Commandments. It just says, remember to keep the holy, remember to keep holy the Lord's, the Lord's day. Just little words to sound all cutesy like it means something, but it's going against God, man. So they took number two out, the false idol, false idol worship, and it comes down to breaking number 10 into two to make up for the one they took. What a con, what a bunch of con artists, man. And they're collecting money to pay off people who were hurt by priests. And why don't they just sell all their gold chalices or the pinky ring that the Pope makes y'all kiss, right? I don't mean to sound rude or not. It's a righteous anger, not at the followers. You guys are lost. I was lost until I found the truth of God and know that we're only supposed to pray to Father God through Jesus Christ. I'm going to post some um, some stuff on here, some little little pictures, and to depict what I'm saying here, this would have been way too much to uh, type out for me. I, I love speaking, and um, this is God's message to you, Holy Spirit-inspired message. Yeah, I got a little off-key there because it's a righteous anger, man. Eight years of this crap, and I knew more about Mary than I did Jesus Christ himself when I left the Catholic Church. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Ask yourself that. I want all my Catholic friends, the Holy Spirit has just told me, you take your Bible, go to 1 Timothy 2.5, put your finger in it because it's in your Bible, but they tell you, don't read the Bible. We need to, um, we need to, uh, break down the Bible for you, interpret the Bible for you. You know, yeah, give me your money now so we can buy the Pope another pinky ring so we can have people kissing both rings. Sorry about that, guys. That's the flesh coming through. But these people disgust me that they take God's word and pervert it like that to make money. But the sad part is, my friend Sean's mother, there's so many people that I love, my Aunt Joanne, they're all suffering because they go to these masses, bowing down to priests and praying to Mary and, and getting in their car saying, oh, you know, uh, pray St. Michael, keep me safe. He can't hear you. The dead are asleep. They're sleeping. Like if you took a nap and tried to come in this room and talk to me, I'm sleeping. I'd be snoring, but I'm sleeping. They can't hear you. The dead know nothing. Jesus is the only one mediator. Two, uh, 1 Timothy 2.5. Go read it yourself. Put your finger in the page. If you really want to be close to God, do you really want to be happy today? I want you happy. I'm tired of seeing my family who's Catholic, all my childhood friends. They're all struggling out there. They're hurting inside. 
Good people running to alcohol, drugs, depression, anxiety is taking over their lives because these priests have taught us a lie since the beginning of when we were born. It's so sad. And everybody out there who, who was baptized at a church when they were a baby, you just had a bath at the, at, the, at the church, right? A bath. That's it. You need to cleanse the inside of your heart and repent and get on your knees. If you've got bad knees, whatever, sit down, stand on your head. God don't care. Just admit you're wrong. Please forgive me, Father, for following these false teachers. I've been sinning for years and didn't even know it. He's going to forgive you. You just have to ask and watch the Holy Spirit come in you and feel the excitement that I got for the Lord. Because it's exciting, like David dancing into Jerusalem with the Ark of the Covenant. He was dancing, man, because God's very presence was there. What Catholic service have you ever been to that was exciting? Where people clap and say hallelujah? Nowhere. That's the answer. I already knew the answer. Nowhere. We're all sitting in the thing. They lull you to sleep with their man teaching and they're all oh, talking in all these weird languages, man, of the devil. And we're sitting there thinking it's something good. It was embarrassing, man. After I found out the truth, I was so heartbroken going, man, my aunt who went to Catholic church masses every day, even sat through the Spanish service and didn't even speak Spanish, speak Spanish. And she was hurting today. And, and it's just sad to me. I want you happy. God wants you happy. Why do you think I'm sitting here, man, doing this video? I could be doing a lot of other things, but he wanted me to get this message to everybody out there, the Catholic people that go to these Catholic services. When I say, are you a friend of Jesus? No, I'm Catholic. Yeah, you got that right. You're Catholic. You're not of Jesus. You're, you're, you're praying to another Jesus that you pray through Mary to, which is of a devil of this world, a, lo, a lo, little G God of this world. Guys, get right with the Lord, man. You have a one-on-one -on -one relationship thanks to Jesus. The only way to the Father is through the Son, Scripture says. Not through Mary or saints, but through Jesus. Whew. Peace be with you. I love you. I hope that one person, this is for, this one person come out of that darkness of that fake religion and come into the light of Jesus Christ and Father God, one true God, living God, a relationship with Father God through Jesus. The only way to the Father is through the Son. Hallelujah.